So here's the plan. We are going to take a block of brass, like this one, like this one, and we're going to put another block of brass on top of it, like There's this. There's going to be a thread uh, going, going to be a dividing these, plate with lots, lots of tiny weekends. holes that's what or we've made so far. Whatever, that we can and on top of that is going to, let's say, this yeah. is the wheel. That's it. Simple as that. Hello. This way. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Here we go, look, beautiful, just gorgeous two holes that are not that aligned. Uh, I screwed up though. <laughs> I screwed it up a little bit. I was too greedy, I was too... Uh, I believe we can fix it. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's not lost yet, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit lumpy, but... Okay, moment of a 
Tröß. Oh oh. So I'll let you in on a little secret on this compact disc is that the other <laughs> other side is a little bit used and engraved from previous I don't know, something but uh, I, I don't mind it so much what am I Jesus This goes like that. That locks it in place. Like this. And yeah, we need to somehow to lock it so it doesn't move while we're we're cutting. So I need to drill a hole here and put a screw, a thumb screw or something like that. I think that would work pretty nicely. and solid so yeah that's good very good so until i get away to make uh, nailings i'm just gonna use this thumb wheel but i want to uh, i want to make it a little bit nicer oops uh oh that's not good this So we need to make some sort of, let's call it a pointer, like a finger that uh, presses on the crevices of the dividing wheel. Uh, and yeah, and I think that's the last thing we need to do.
looks pretty nice. That will be potentially the gear. I have to I have to say, even if it doesn't work, at least it looks like it, <laughs> it does something. I'm trying to make the cutter of the gear and I have no idea if it's gonna work. I'm eyeballing it basically. Wait, did I even cut it on the right side? Well, which direction does it turn? No, it needs to turn the other direction. Is it going to work? Nah, probably not. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're going to try. Can you lock it? That's not locking it. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, that was the first pass. Uh, so we are going to loosen the slide and no, advance it. Oops. Advance. I need to remember which direction to go. Let me bring you some from the wood. So it's been a couple of weeks since I worked on this project because uh, I've been waiting for some parts to arrive. See, this is not one of those Uri Tuchman's projects where he does shenanigans and all sorts of uh, weird stuff that doesn't really work but looks nice and stuff like that. This project actually I wanted to work because I want to use this device to make Uri's shenanigans, if it makes sense. So let me take you through some of the updates and the new pieces that I've ordered and uh, yeah, I'll catch you up to date. And so I went ahead and bought a real dividing plate. This was surprisingly inexpensive and uh, that is a watchmaker's dividing plate. The number of holes correspond directly to the amount of teeth that are supposed to be cut. So 49 holes means 49 teeth. So I also bought a uh, actual gear cutter. Now this is a very tiny watchmaker's gear cutter and this will do a much better job than the homemade uh, blade that I've made and I want to have a little bit more smooth action. I also made this key just to have a little bit more leverage. Lever lever I made this key so I have a little bit more leverage. Oops. Let's just do this.
that's I think that's the uh yeah that looks pretty good baby That's what happens when you have fun. So my friends, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, like all good things, I need uh, a lot of tuning and practice and uh, get to, to learn how to use this machine. But, but definitely the best gears uh, I could ever make in the shop. Uh, until now I've just used the file and stuff like that. Now it's much more fine and tuned. I'm gonna stop this because the, the noise really puzzles me. Yeah, so uh, this device is very heavy. <laughs> and <laughs> and this device is super, super cool. And uh, I think it opens quite a lot of opportunities for me to do more mechanisms. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I will uh, see you in the next <laughs> video. Song from the wood, song from the wood, song from the wood.